increasing more powerful algorithms. So we really believe in this feedback loop of developing new tasks that break the model and developing new models that break the task. Thank you. You can come to us, like all conferences as well, if you have like, comments on the task, of course. Well, I uh. just want to say that it's really great that you're putting this uh, in front of us today. Uh, okay. Toy and artificial tasks have been uh, looked down by reviewers in machine learning, and I think they're really important to support you greatly, and uh, uh. it's a great message. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sure. Uh, yes, Chris? Okay. Um, yeah, so I actually think this is also a great thing to do, and it would be great if other people contributed tasks and expanded the range of things here. Um, on the other hand, so that balance. Um, yeah. the, I mean, the question is with these tasks, actually trying to get a sense of what they're actually learning, what you're actually learning. That, I mean, these tasks have nice names and uh, human language examples, which um, claim you're learning things like co-reference, but you know, at the end of the day, you're doing some kind of pattern matching in a sequence. And I have a worry about some of the tasks that they're doing a kind of a pattern matching in a sequence, and they're not actually learning about co-reference or the author's attitudes or some of the high quality names that you're using to label the tasks. Are there good ways to do ex post hoc experimental analysis to get more of a sense of what hasn't, hasn't actually been understood? Uh, uh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so it's a uh, it's a great comment. I mean, it's a, it's also a, a generic comment about um, the the direction as well, which is like uh, putting the task out there and, and presenting them and presenting the direction is also a way of getting feedback about uh, like people that have been working on coreference for a while. They might say that's not valid coreference data set, or uh, you should you're maybe not testing this, and, and you might be. Uh, I think it's important to be open to this because. Uh, we believe that the direction, like creating like environment where you can actually try to interpret is very important. And if we're actually not interpreting the way that we think we do, uh, we can we can modify it and try to, to make it to make it better. Well, we, we try more now to differentiate the linguistic part that I try to show with the knobs in the end uh, from the reasoning part. And the reasoning part may be able to try to grasp new patterns on the way and try to be able to use them to grasp even more, more complicated patterns. Um, this would be perfectly fine if the, if the algorithm is able to, to get the patterns and try to be to be able to use them in a nice way. So we would be happy uh, if he was able to do that because in some cases it can't. Um, and for the, for the, all the linguistic part, I think yeah, we, uh, um, this, is, this is that, so we could make it more complicated and maybe like try to make it like people uh, interpret the simulation to write English with it. Maybe, maybe a nicer way to actually uh, generate like a real, a real sentence for me. If you read the, sen the story, sometimes you want maybe to word it differently. It may be also a way because you still know the underlying uh, reasoning that is re required. One last question. Hello. Um, are the instances in the training set and the testing set drawn uniformly from the same distribution? Uh, and if so, have you considered doing something where they're drawn from distri different distributions to test how well the model is generalized? Yeah. So um, it's a it's a very good, it's a very good question. Uh, so actually, this is uh, it's it's the same distribution in the way that we are using the same generator to train the, the to generate the same the same stories. Um, but it's true that um, uh, we are thinking about the way that you actually try to test on different kind of stories some patterns that you trained before. Uh, so this is uh, undergoing, and it's more where it's very nicely tested is more about these character sequences where you try to to train on some on some type of INBN with some ends, and then you try to test on sequences with higher ends on which you've never seen examples, for instance. So in this, they are really trying to do that. And we might also try to do that later. It's a very good comment. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, let's thank Antoine. Thank you.